Beeston Film Festival 2023. Okay, it's going to be a good night. Good. <laughs> Thank you. I've done that before and then not here. And then the audience was just like... And there was one person. Whoop! <laughs> so that was great. Thank you. Um, so, Beeston Film Festival, hello. I'm so happy to be here. Um, and I'm really excited to be celebrating tonight with all of the amazing filmmakers in the room and everybody here supporting them. Um, what a week. Who has been seeing these films this week? Tell me if you've been in a screening. Yeah. And how was it? Yeah. Yeah, the quality of this festival is like blowing me away. Um, year on year, it just gets better and better, and um, oh, it's amazing. Is, was any is anyone in the room that was there on the very first festival in? Um, hang on, I need to subtract nine. <laughs> Twenty fourteen. Yep. <laughs> okay. Was anyone in the early... Uh, did anyone attend the early festivals that were at the... Was it Nottingham, Trent Uni? Back at, <laughs> Gino's like, way! <laughs> uh, was it Nottingham, Trent Uni that we were used to go to, like, initially? Or was it a different... Uni of, Uni of Knots. Oh, gosh. That's like, is there, like, rivalry there? Have I... My, oh, sorry, I said Uni of Knots all along. Um, yeah, so was anyone there back in that day... Yeah, and yep. The, and, the white white lion. Lion. and I was going to get to that. <laughs> oh, that comes after like number six. Um, um, so I remember those days. Do you remember those days when you gave me some biscuits, John? <laughs> no, I have no memory of anything at all. No. <laughs> it's because you've got so many films crammed in your head, John. Um, so I remember those days, the very first festival that I went to. Um, it was John. John really looked out for us filmmakers at the time. I don't know if he still does this, but uh, we were sat in that room in the University of Nottingham and watching the films. And my film was screening. Actually, it was the first film that I'd made, and uh, I my stomach was rumbling really loudly to the point where in the middle of every film, the people around me were looking at me. And um, John gave me some biscuits. <laughs> so, thank you, John. <laughs> yeah, um, and then we moved, oh, well, I'm going to have to do it now, and I? We moved, <laughs> we moved to the White Lion pub. Yay! I'm going to be um, raving about the art cinema later, so um, those applauses need to get louder and louder every time, because I think it's deserved. <laughs> But um, great, I've got a thanks for some uh, lots of people that were involved in the festival, actually. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you to um, everyone on the selection panel and the jury, obviously. <laughs> thank you for watching all the amazing films um, and also for uh, selecting our winners tonight. Um, a massive thanks to all of the filmmakers. <laughs> without saying that we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Um, and a massive thank you as well to all of the staff in the Art Cinema and also the Beast Film Festival who have made this happen. <laughs> to student interns as well that this could just not run without. <laughs> uh, not to put you on the spot or anything, but are any of our student interns in here, in this room right now? Can, can we, like, just the student interns, can you cheer, please? Woo! They're here, they are present, they are shy, but they are amazing. Okay, you guys have been working so, so hard, so thank you so much. And I've got a couple of them coming up tonight to present some of the awards as well. Um, and also to our amazing audiences. That's you. And the doctor. Mixture. Amazing. And um, I, I guess... I guess, to John Curry, yeah. our yeah. festival director. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, cracking. Um, so, uh, yeah, we have some awards to give out tonight. Um, I won't go on for too long. We will jump into it. Um, when the awards are presented, we, we had a bit of an idea, didn't we, Chris? Where's Chris? There you are. Um, with the, we're, go we're going to present the award. You'll, you'll come up and um, your announcer or presenter will be giving your award. And then we'll be having um, a photo moment that Chris, our lovely photographer here, will be taking. Um, and we thought instead of just having the photo in front of the screen, we could have the photo this way in front of the audience. Nice. Nice. Oh, first John's hearing of it. What? <laughs> um, and basically, there's quite a big audience and um, quite a narrow, you know. So I guess you can choose which audience part you want to be photographed in front of. And if it's not good for lighting, Chris will tell you. <laughs> I'm kind of half joking, but also really want to see how this plays out. But um, if you are the audience that is behind the photo, you have an option of, I think, three options. You can either hide, which won't look great, or you can be like, woo, and like, you know, pose. Or you can just be like, I'm in this shot, which also won't look great. So I guess that really leaves you with the one option, which is to pose. <laughs> right, John? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Or, or hide, but like, you know, be subtle about it. Um, but yeah, so we also, tonight, I should let you know, it's not that's not the only camera we have in the room. We have some cameras over here that are live streaming this event. Yeah. Right, and, and you're like doing it. What's your name? Jacob. Jacob, can you please have a round of applause for Jacob? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to grab your name. Um, so we have two cameras here. There's this one that's displaying my word vomit. <laughs> and then there's this one which is displaying yours. Um, so if everyone would like to wave to the audience camera, you're all on it, apart from Tommy Draper. Um, if you would like to move in, Tommy, and just wave for us, you're going to have to walk all the way over here and wave at the camera now. Yeah, yeah there we go. We can't escape. Um, so that's being live streamed to the Beeston uh, Film Festival Instagram and Facebook page. Um, apparently, the Instagram only has like a selection of the audience because it's like narrower. So I don't know which selection that is, but um, we'll find out afterwards, I guess. <laughs> Okay, um, I'd also like to just have a massive thank you to um, Broxo Council as well and any of the other sponsors um, who have supported this festival from the very beginning because um, without, without sponsors and supporters like that, we just, again, we wouldn't be here. Um, so a massive round of applause to everybody and the sponsors, everyone who has supported. Thank you. Okay, so we are going to um, commence... Um, and just as we do, I would like to say that our first two um, presenters of our awards this evening are a couple of our amazing student interns. Um, so a, a bit about that, like students are obviously a vital part of Nottingham life. And um, the festival recruits a team of student interns every year that are passionate about film to help deliver the festival. And I really cannot express that without this team, we would not be able to run. So um, yes, I would just like to have a, a massive round of applause for our first presenter and um, a student of uh, Nottingham Trent University studying English and film and TV. Um, it's Orla Hackman. Please give it a round. <laughs> give it a round of applause. Um, thank you. I'm going to pass you that one. And I'm going to pass you that one. Amazing. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing. Hiya. <laughs> so I'm presenting the awards for the Com no, not the comedy, the music category. Um, the nominations that we've got are The Moon Followed Me to Falmouth, Since the Reality, and Pragedia, We Are the Media. I think we have a reminder of some up here. When I turned 18, my prospects were lean. Far away lands were calling You're looking 
何が眠れるのなら本が国意味はあるそれがディスコヒーだとしてもまやかしの類だとしてもシンセリティ僕たちは大切にしてから邪魔すんな And then the winner is. Pagidio, the other night. Hi to everyone. I am Alessandro Baducci from Torino, Italy. I would like very much to be with you this night, but I am here in We Are the Night style to say you to say to you a big thank you for this award. This award is very important to me, but also for the music producer and for the record label, the R and S Records. So thank you to the festival, thanks thank you to the jury and all the audience of this night. Bye bye. Okay. We'd very much like to invite Ellie up to present the best student film in the festival. Fab, thank you very much. So uh, I'm presenting the award for the student uh, award uh, for the student Oscar. So the nominations are Pirouette, Unders, Sem, and Love is Free. I hope I pronounced all of those correctly. But yeah, so I'm presuming that we should have a little review of the clips now. <laughs> yeah, so fabulous. So they're all really great films, by the way. I've had the pleasure of being able to watch all of them, so I would highly recommend all of those filmmakers. And the winner is Pirouette. <laughs> Who I am aware. I'm not here tonight. Hey, Peace and Film Festival. I'm Ciara, the director of the animated short film Pirouette, and truly grateful for the opportunity to showcase Pirouette at your festival in the Arc Cinema. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to Nina, John, the film festival organizers, the jury, for recognizing the efforts of emerging filmmakers like me. Your support and encouragement mean the world to us. I was already overwhelmed by the nominations for Pirouette, which is why I'm extremely honored and thankful to have won the student category. Thank you so, so much. I also want to express my deep appreciation to the audience who watched the film. It's an amazing feeling to have people seeing and experiencing your film after working on it for two years. So thank you so much for letting me be part of this beautiful festival. Bye. <laughs> so, um, please can we have a massive warm welcome to Bex, who, who, by the way, Joyful Dragonfly is Bex's company that designs the walls. Please look, look, look out. Local as well, Beeston made. Um, thank you so, so much, and Bex will be presenting our best script this evening. Here you go. Oh, and here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, everyone. Okay, so the nominations for the best in script are Baggage, Bonavacantia, 
Hello Muscles and Man to Man. And here they are. Kutsun ekset, nyt vaan tuntuu vaikuttavan suu edelleen. Instant death caused by upper cervical spine fracture. Body found two days later. In the future, if you want something, do it right. Sneaking about, nicking stuff is for sly wee creeps. Not big strong girls like you. I'm not big or strong. OK, big's debatable. But strong? You know that's nothing to do with muscles, right? God, I want to be my own man, OK? And not the one you have in your head, but the one I have in mine. Like, I want to be strong and, and respected, but I don't want to be feared to get that. OK, so the winner is... It's man to man. Yeah. Brilliant. I'd just like to um, just remind you that you get to pick a section of audience oh. to have your picture with. Wow, uh, wow they're all, oh, they all would like it. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> there we are. Um, and uh, Chris is going to take a photo. Um, would you like to jump in as well, Bex, to present the award? You, you, can, you can make it look like you're like giving it over in that moment. How's your acting skills? Okay, everyone behind, you need to pose. Yeah. Oh, another one. It's happening. This was a good idea. <laughs> You'll be tired by the end of the night, but this was great. Yeah, are you gonna, would you like to make a speech? Because we have some microphones ready. Um, thank you very much, everybody. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Thanks. Uh, man to Man means a lot to the team, everybody a part of it. Um, Salom Adani, he wrote the script. Um, Sharose, you can't be here, unfortunately. Like, yeah, it, it means it means a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the love, for the love, still. Um, but um, yeah, thank you so much, Beeson. Um, we really appreciate it, and yeah, we came down because you know it's going to be a sick festival. So thank you very much. <laughs> Well, thank you also for watching the film. Thank you for giving us feedbacks because I feel like um, when we were outside, you know, people came and talked to us. I think this is also important. Like being here has definitely been, um, you know, special because we have had the chance to uh, speak to people that watched it. And yeah, please come to us and write to us if there is anything that you want to know, questions. Um, and thanks for having us. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, do you know, as, as we go through the night, this is just like going round and round and round the stand. And I'm going to be like this <laughs> in the end. Um, thank you so much and congratulations. Um, this is fun. Isn't this fun? Celebrations. Like, and also um, just would like to give a massive round of applause to all the nominees this evening. Um, every single one. And also to every single film that was selected, uh, whether nominated or not, like the quality of this festival is phenomenal. Like, please, please, massive round of applause to every single film. I mean, and while we're here, actually, please can we have a round of applause to every single film that was submitted? <laughs> because honestly, the quality was so so high. I have heard 
all the stories of how difficult this was to so not only just select the films but nominate and like judge like whoa like <laughs> the quality of the is getting better and better and um i i mean you probably hopefully talk about this in a bit because you've obviously got first-hand experience of every year how the quality is just stepping up and how much harder it is getting and how much of it expansion you're having to have on the team to try, just handle it it's incredible so um yeah just again right we're going to do it again but a massive massive round of applause to every single filmmaker out there who is making films okay um the next category is the science fiction or fantasy or both uh film category um so i'm going to oh hey um, I'm going to invite um, a friend of mine to the stage now. Um, he's all right. I think he, he'll do, you know. He, he, he does that like whole you know, writing thing. And he does it pretty well. Some of his films have been like, you know, BAFTA long-listed and, you know, awarded all around the world and like recognised by people who just you wouldn't expect to even be watching short films and... Um, yeah, I, I, just a massive round of applause and welcome to the stage to uh, Tommy Draper to present this one. Oh, envelope as well. Can you be nice to me? And don't you just love how when we open the envelope tonight, we can hear all the sound effects of the opening envelope. <laughs> so if you could just make that extra special. Keep it real. Yeah. Okay. One moment, I just need to Ooh. pop this in the stand. I'm going to pull the microphone stand over. Oh, oh we'll just technically get ourselves ready, shall we? Hold on. There we are. Pro. Right. Science fiction. Again, another strong category of films. And the nominees are Megan, Carrion, or Carry On, I'm not sure. Deadline. That's Our Time. Eight Loop. Or Rest Stop. Ma'am, uh, you've called 811. This is Above and Beyond Services, where we help you call your family and friends that are no longer here with us. For all other emergencies, please call 911. If they really got to know me, they'd be terrified. is that's our time who are currently recording their speech and will just be shown in a moment because they're unable to be here tonight <laughs> hold on yeah congratulations go on oh they're done here we go Hi, my name is Alex Backus. I'm co-writer and director of That's Our Time. I just wanted to extend a warm thank you from our team to the Beeston Film Festival. Thank you for supporting our film. Thank you for giving us an audience to share our film with. Thank you for the hardware. We don't do this for awards, but obviously it feels nice to be recognized and acknowledged. I wanted to thank our entire team that worked really hard to make a short film that we're all really, really, really proud of. Thank you to Lauren and Rebecca for helping us find this film festival. And 
thank you to everyone that's watching this for supporting independent cinema. It's incredibly important and vital that we do so. So thank you very much. I'd just like to invite Lauren to the stage who will be um, picking up the award on behalf of these filmmakers tonight uh, from the Film Festival Doctor. So thank you. Would you like to... Um Oh, there's a mic. Yeah, hi everyone. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, I'm here on behalf of That's Our Time. Um, Alex, Stephen, and Taylor are from the States, and uh, they're one of our clients at the Film Festival Doctor. Um, so thank you so much for watching the film. Uh, it was great to be working on it. Um, such a strong, you know, quality of work, and I love the story. So thank you so much for uh, voting for it, and um, can't wait to speak to everyone after. Thank you so much. I'll use this one. Um, so, uh, I was just so into that, I just missed my cues, so it's going well. Um, I would just like to, so for the next category, uh, which is um, the best of uh, the pride category tonight, best of, um, yeah, no, that is why I've written, sorry, I can't read my handwriting. <laughs> so it's the best of the pride category, and uh, it's a really exciting one to present. And the, the person that's presenting this one tonight, I would just like to celebrate again. Um, so Nina Feb is a French student that's currently uh, doing business administration at the Knott's Trent University and um, has a real deep love for cinema. Um, Nina has been in charge of organising and running the festival and given that we are all sat here with gaping smiles tonight, I think it's safe to say that she's done a spectacular job. Okay, uh, so please, 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 a big, massive round of applause for Nina tonight. Would you like to come up and present this one? Woo! Oh, sorry, I just put it out of your reach. <laughs> so the films nominated for the Pride category are Empress Quill Scream, Magma, The Fishing Nets, River Take Me and Tell Tyler, and I'll let you with the nomination clip. Just tell her. Jess, you're an absolute void. Will you go out with me? What's the worst that can happen? T'es sérieux, tu te branlais là Mais vas-y, mais barre-toi Tu sais quoi Prends ton PQ, va finir ailleurs, je dois me préparer Oui. People are so rarely what they seem. That your friend was a male prostitute and one of our best recruits. Shit. Fuck, I keep doing that, I'm sorry. You know, I'm Don't sorry, I'll clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Come here, come here. So, have you told everyone now? Pretty much. Well, who doesn't know? Stop it. You oh, haven't shit. told Tyler. <laughs> Why haven't you told Tyler? And the winner is Magma. Okay, would you like to pick a selection of the audience for your photo? Yeah. We're going to we will definitely do the speech just after. Our, well, what would you like to do first? Oh, you can do your speech if you like. While you're in the moment, yeah. please, yes. I'll do that from now on. I'll switch it around. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's awesome. Uh, it was worth making the journey from friends to have this. So I would like to say thanks, John and Nina, for the welcome for the welcome here. It was just awesome. And I've met so many beautiful souls here in since Friday. It's, it's just amazing what, what you can do here. And yes, I'm sorry, I'm, just, I'm a bit overwhelmed. And my English isn't that great. But I just wanted to thank everybody here and the crew that worked on the movie. And you're just awesome. Thank you. The next category is the best horror film. Oh. 
and I wasn't sure if you were going to do like a <laughs> We can try that if you want. The next category is the best horror film. Yeah, and it's going to be presented by Ezra Watson, who is the director of this cinema, this amazing space that we're in. Yeah, actually, you just take it away. Oh, I did, because I made the mistake. The fact that I was actually going to big up the cinema again. <laughs> we moved here last year, right? Last year, we, we came here, and the quality of the projections in this place to be able to give the filmmakers the quality that they deserve is, is just incredible. Okay, we are going to round of applause again, okay, for the cinema. <laughs> Um, and I am going to invite Ezra up here today uh, to present this next award, which is horror, best horror film in the festival. Please welcome Ezra up. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, good evening, guys. This is when you see a bit behind the curtains because we are remotely doing some of this, so apologies for the laptop. Uh, thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you all for being here this weekend. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to host this uh, festival yet again. But without further ado, our nominations for Hover are Forfeit, Familias, Sangria, no, Sanri, uh, Sarangi, sorry, apologies, <laughs> on the spot, and Sangria does sound more fun, uh, and Shiny New World. And here they are, and the bit I need to do. Why would there be an inquiry? She wouldn't lose a forfeit. So I had to lock her in. Success, here. And our winner is Shiny New World. Um, the filmmakers of this award could not be here tonight, but they have left a message for us. Is that your phone? Hello, Beeston Film Festival. My name is Jean van Gorkum. I'm the writer-director of Shiny New World. On behalf of the cast and crew, many thanks for selecting our film. And we're also very honored to have won the award for Best Horror. I would like to thank the jury and the festival organization for honoring us. And I would also like to thank my producer, Monique van Kessel, for making the film in the first place. And I hope the audience has enjoyed the film as well. And I wish you a wonderful festival. Cheers. Yeah, round of applause for the art. Okay, back to Gino. Um, so <laughs> So, um, Gino founded the Zeno Pictures uh, back in 20, no, 2006, gosh, in Belgium, um, who buy and release and distribute films that are like cult films that are forgot almost forgotten, uh, and unique pictures from all around the world. So, um, really like stellar part in the film industry. Thank you, Gino, for all your work. We can. Yeah. I think that's worthy. <laughs> And for the, um, let me just check. For the best crime film, I thought so. I would just like to invite Gino up here to present this award. Thank you. Um, yeah, sure. Good evening, everybody. Can I get first a round of applause for Emmeline, who is doing a great job. She's doing a great job. Oh, I don't have anything. So, it's uh, up to me to announce the nominations of this crime section. We have from the UK Headlights, also from the UK The Gambler, 
smoking dolphins and seen. And from China we had two. Let's see the clip. Smoking dolphins. Smoking fucking dolphins. Smoking fucking dolphins. What are you doing? <clears throat> uh, there's something going on next door. And the winner is... <laughs> the Gambler from Mac Popov. Unfortunately, the filmmakers could not be here tonight, so we do have a um, just recorded speech. Hi, I'm Mark Popple. I'm the director and editor of The Gambler. Um, apologies that I can't be there tonight to accept the award for best crime drama. Um, but on behalf of everyone involved in the making of The Gambler, we're so incredibly grateful to receive this award. Uh, I'd love to give a special thanks to our amazing cast, Chris Kay, Liam Dooley and Liam Blundell. Uh, they brave the rough seas, the heat, the cold and being swept out to sea on a daily basis. Um, but they always kept their passion and energy for the project and without them we couldn't have got the film finished. So um, yeah, we really do hope you enjoyed the film. Enjoy the rest of this amazing festival uh, and with a bit of luck I'll see you all in person next year. But uh, next up, I would just like to move on forward. Uh, firstly, can we have a massive cheer for Naps, who is working at the art cinema and has been amazing uh, at the moment for all the technical stuff of the festival. Um, but I do apologise, Naps, because I have replaced you now with Alona, who is coming up to <laughs> present the next award this evening. Alona, are you uh, still up for it? <laughs> Would you like to come down? Um, so the next um, Oscar is the animation award. So our animation category. Um, it's very, very exciting. Um, we are going to just go sort of straight into the nominations because obviously Elona has not been prepped with a list, but it does come up. So we are going to celebrate these nominations for the animation award. And this is your envelope. Um, I have to say, I've been thoroughly enjoying this. 
I've been attending quite a few sessions over this weekend and um, I have to say it's been absolutely tremendous just to be here and to watch different films from and to get to know so many people along alongside it's been absolutely incredible and my hope now is that I'm going to pronounce the name of the winner correctly once I'm opening this envelope so just wish me luck for this <laughs> Oh gosh, it's very well sealed, I have to say. <laughs> so let me put this here. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Um, so the winner is the sprayer from famous Abedi. Am I pronouncing this correctly? The winner is. Is that, is that okay? I'm so sorry if. Yeah, that's, that's an actually a really beautiful film and congratulations to everybody who is organising this. You've done perfectly. Can we please have a massive round of applause for Alona? Um, the filmmakers, unfortunately, I know we came up for a picture, but they're unfortunately not here tonight. Um, <laughs> we're running away. Well, you can keep it if you like. <laughs> it's a reminder. Um, sorry, I picked one that... The filmmaker wasn't here for, but the filmmaker isn't here today, but um, has done a tremendous job and a massive, massive congratulations. I've, we're going to see their speech just now on the screen. And Farmusha Abedi Aslam. انیموتور و کارگردان از ایران که فیلم منو انتخاب کردین برای نمایش در جشورتون سمپاش داستان دیستوپیایی است که در اون رویش هر گونه گلوگیا و رویدنی ممنوعه در واقع فرم بسری سمپاش و سربازان سمپاش از سربازان نازی جنگ جهانی دوم گرفته شده و فرم روایت با الهام از فیلم و کتاب فارنهایت 451 البته به طور ناخودآگاه در اونجا کتاب ها و تفکر سوزونده میشه و در کار من زندگی و زیبا وقتی دوازده سال پیش این ایده به ذهنم رسید شاید حتی برای خودم باورش کمی سخت بود که مگر میشه که ارتشی پیدا بشه که بخواد گیاهان و رویدنی ها رو نابود کنه ولی بعد از ولی امروز در سال 2022 و بعد از این همه اتفاق عجیب غریبی که افتاده از پاندمی و خشکی رودخانه ها نابودی جنگل ها و تغییرات اقلیمی واقعا این قصه بیشتر به شباهت به واقعیت پیدا میکنه البته با همه بدبینی و سیاهی که در فیلم هست اینکه در واقع سوزوندن گیاهان و نابودی گیاهان حتی از نابودی کتاب هم تلخ در سیاهه و در صحنه آخر ما پلان سکانسی داریم که یک نهال کوچیک سبز در پای مجسمه پیشوای سمپاش ها روش کرده و در واقع یک کرسوی امید و یک نور امید هرچند ناچیزی رو برای بشر و انسان باقی میذاره در واقع هستن انسان هایی که همچنان به نگهداری از زندگی و زیبایی ادامه میدن و البته سمپاش ها هم در نابودی همچنان جدی هستن Amazing um, I'm, st I'm stuck again now I told you I was going to end up like this um, I'm really, really thrilled that these filmmakers that are not able to be here today are able to send in a clip. Um, it's really lovely to hear from them. Uh, again, a massive congratulations to them and also a massive thanks to Alona for presenting that completely unprepared <laughs> Um, next up, um, I would like to invite somebody back who has just presented an award. Um, but I would just like to, as, as we do that, I would just like to say that um, 
I actually asked John for some real festival highlights for him that have been really kind of personal and um, a real joy over the last nine years. And one of the things he pointed out was being able to meet international partners of the festival who've become like part and parcel of the festival and are here like every year and supporting the festival, backing it. Um, so yeah, like people, people like Gino and also, um, sorry, uh, Thomas Glacio. Um, like it's it's incredible, and yeah, I, I hope that there's many more to come. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sort of pinned to the floor, but I'd just like to invite Gino back here for um, to present the best in the children's joy joy cry. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? The best in the children's joy category. Um, thank you. I'm going to give you the one that's not stuck to the floor. <laughs> the the BFF for best friends forever, I think, instead of Beast in the Film Festival, because during the years I really met some nice people and they became really nice friends. Category: Children's Joy from Canada between Wings and Swings, and f two other ones from the UK. Talia and Free. Let's see us the clips of the nominations. Looks like I have an audience. You must be Wyatt's daughter. I'm Farida. And the winner is... <laughs> Make some sound effect. Free from Agish Kodi. Are we in the house tonight? John, help me out. Okay, do we have a video? I have different information on my sheet. I'm going to just duck now. <laughs> just award. I like get it. Okay. But massive congratulations. Um, I'm sorry that we, we don't have them in the room tonight. Um, amazing. So next up. Uh, we have the soundtrack and or oh, sound design category, um, and I'd like to invite Trish Griffith, Griffiths up here to present this one. Um, Bistonian, very local, our Trish is, and also a member of our selection team, so you've got to be nice. Hello. Trish, where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, it's your house. Good evening. Okay, the nominees are Cheap Hugs, Sarangi, Suburban Fantasy, and Supervision. Let's have a look at the clips.
that you could ever want is here. Move! And the winner is... Suburban Fantasy. Hey everybody, my name is Peter Mancuso and I am the writer and director of Suburban Fantasy. Um, I am just so unbelievably honored and humbled by this award and I'd like to thank everyone at uh, the Beast and Film Festival, who made this event possible. Um, I'd also like to thank our on-set sound mixer, J.L. Wright, um, our sound designer, Jairo Daniel Garcia, um, our sound engineer, Brandon Pavlicek, our music director, Alex Joaquim, and most especially, our music producer and orchestrator, Trevor Moore. Um, while I wrote all of the music and lyrics, Trevor was really the one who took that music and brought it to life through his incredible instrumentation. You know, he had the hard task of trying to blend indie pop punk bands with show tunes, but I, I think he was really able to pull it off. Um, if you appreciated Trevor's you know, outstanding work, uh, you can actually listen to the film soundtrack wherever you get your music, Spotify, Apple Music, you name it. But again, I'm just so incredibly thankful uh, to be receiving this Bosker. And I hope that you enjoyed Suburban Fantasy, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Um, next up, we have presenting the Best Drama um, Award. We have our very own, wait for it, actually, I'm going to try not to give you some spoilers, dreamed up the festival um, nine years ago, okay, um, after visiting the Dublin um, International Music and Film Festival. Um, and has since not only been one of the top 100 best reviewed festivals on Film Freeway for several years now, keeps coming up, I don't know about you guys, it's just there, isn't it? But has also been recently Biffa accredited. Um, please can we welcome our very own John Curry to present this one. Thanks for everyone coming. Um, it's always very humbling each year running the actual film festival. You have hundreds, eight over 800 submissions that the team diligently assessed to identify what were the best to present in this festival. And Every year, the category that is most submitted is drama. This is the most competitive category. And this is why, typically, every year, we have a higher number of nominations. Because the selection team badger me to say, we cannot have this film on the nomination list. It's absolutely right. Each year, the drama category is hugely competitive packed with tremendous work. So the nominations, oh, I've suddenly realized I've got the long glasses on. I will do this. Here we go. I can read now. The wonderful Women of Virtue. The amazing Not My Sister. The fabulous Voices. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Jacques Tati, whilst watching this, Baggage, fantastic film. Uh, one of our first submissions from Afghanistan, Nazli. Um, Laps, uh, fantastic film as well. And deeply compassionate, incredibly moving, Blue Rain. Let's remind ourselves of these words. This feeling I can't think We're too big and gay <laughs> y 
Yeah, okay, that could be something. Ik mis je, Saar. Yeah, seeing them again, they are each and every one deserving of awards in themselves. But somehow, our incredibly talented and diligent jury have figured out there is one film that they select above all of them. The winner of the best in best drama category 2023 voices. Hi everyone, thank you so much. I'm uh, really, really surprised. So I'm sorry if I babble because I've not prepared anything. Uh, there were some amazing films on there and I was like, oh, they're clearly going to win. So, uh, so I'm a bit shocked to be here. Uh, thank you to uh, Beeson Film Festival uh, for this wonderful award, uh, for programming us in the first place, to all the other amazing uh, filmmakers uh, that are all here. Uh, thank you so much. It was a massive effort by the whole team and especially a big shout out to my director, Abby Lucas, who couldn't be here unfortunately, uh, but she was the mastermind behind this and uh, this award is equally hers as much as it is mine. So thank you very much for the whole team of voices. Thank you. Okay. Um, I have a joke for you. I've been told apparently if you host an award ceremony, you're supposed to come prep with jokes. <laughs> Hang on, let me think of one. What's the difference between God and a DOP? Well, God doesn't think he's a DOP. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. And on that note, I've decided I'm not going to present the Cinematography Award. Um, I think I might hand it over to someone. Uh, uh, Chris? Yeah. yeah. Seeing as you're holding a camera, you want to come up? Yeah, yeah exa well, exactly. I'm not taking it. You'd have to do a selfie. Right. Right. Well, what are you going to do now? Would you like to see the nominees or would you uh, like I, to... I would. How do you want to do it? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Cinematography. Right. Oh, here's a, here's a mic. Right. Okay. right. The films in this category are familiar. Mergen, Supervision, Children of Wild Orchid, Who's Counting, and My Dear Son. I think we're about to show some clips. <laughs> Is. 
much rustling. Microphone. It is Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't believe they're here today, but there is a... Hi everyone, my name is Sardar Baymolzin. I am a DOP who worked on Mergen movie. Uh, it was really exciting and really unique experience for me. Thank you for choosing our film. Thank you. Thank you, Beston Film Fest. Bye. Massive congratulations for the filmmakers of Mergen. And uh, thank you, Chris, for um, unexpectedly coming up and presenting an award. You did a smashing job. Um, next up, we are going to bring back our very own and amazing John Curry. Wait, am I right? Yes. No, not sadly. Come on. Um, and John will be presenting the non-fiction Bosca. Also, we do have a phone that's been left here. Whose is it? Great, I'll give that to you. Oh, that's why he's not been replying to me. It's a really good one. Mm -hmm. It's a really good one. Oh, thanks. Yeah, nice one. Anyway, uh, yes, non-fiction category. It, it, you never know what we're going to get in the non-fiction category, and that makes it absolutely stupendous. And the nominations that we have this year uh, didn't let us down. We have uh, School, Joy Uncensored, Bad Ombre Wood, and Two Spirit. And let's remind ourselves of these wonderful films. Same old, same old, same old. Yes, I have a vagina, but I've also got balls. Esto me puso a pensar el lugar de un Latinx en Hollywood. Así que decidí sentarme con mis amigos cineastas para ver lo que opinan. And the winner of the 2023 Bosca for non-fiction is... The person responsible for the first ever Beeston Film Festival happening last night outside the Beeston's uh, Beast Road 66. It's got to be Joy Uncensored. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Speech. Speech. Natasha. I mean, this this is a massive surprise because I mean, all the films in this category were just unbelievable. That I'm just yeah, I I, I really didn't think that we was gonna win. But thank you so much to the festival for inviting us. Um, yeah, and I feel like this is kind of the end of the festival run for this film, as far as I'm aware. So. This is such a, a lovely way to end it, and the film will be online soon. Um, Joy, do you want? Do you not want to come yeah, back? Yeah, Joy! That's a rock. That's a rock. Uh, and this is Scott, also the co producer on this. I don't know. Yeah, just echoing uh, Natasha's words, really. It's just amazing to win, and you know, it's been a wonderful festival. Of, we've felt really welcome, and yeah, it's been it's been a journey, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, I've just been doing what I've been doing, and these two somehow captured it beautifully. And um, yeah, I'm going to carry on doing all this weird stuff that I'm doing. And all I can say is, all the conversations I've had over this weekend have just been so amazing. What a film festival! It's just yeah, it's, it's something special you've got here. It really is. Joy and sense. Thank you. <laughs> Well Congratulations, you're going to pick a selection of the audience now. Yeah. Yeah. This side's going to have to do a bit more to be popular. <laughs> I like it. Right, go on, pose. Pose. Amazing. Well, John, John, I think you're going to have to hand it over. <laughs> Congratulations, really, really well deserved. Um, amazing. Okay, so next up we have our comedy category. And I would like to invite to the stage somebody who is a Canadian writer, now based in the UK, um, who's not only a phenomenal writer, but also um, a brilliant script editor and mentor, should you ever need one. Just putting it out there, okay? Um, also works for the Film Festival Doctor. We have met her already. Okay, it is Lauren Pizzagroli, please, come on. Uh, this is wrapping itself around. There you go. Oh, that's for later. <laughs> Hello again. Um, so it was so great to be a jury member this year and to see the amazing films. Um, now these films, the comedy films, are definitely no joke. Uh, about the oh, that's my time to do. <laughs> I'm not in this category. <laughs> so yeah, so the nominees are Pet Name, The Circle, Worlds Apart, SWAT, Non Negotiable, and Close. Here we go. You're the only one Makes me want to eat up inside You're the only one Sweetie, you've killed six people. What? Is that not... That's not you. Okay, whoops. Uh... These are my terms. I apologise for any spelling or grammatical errors, but I was unable to have you proofread it for obvious reasons. What? You've got keys? Oh. Oh. oh, why are you laughing? I don't have keys. And the winner of Best Comedy is... Non-Negotiable by Mike Doxford. I don't know which one to give you. Okay. <laughs> just, just take okay. which one. No, you can't have that one. No. no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Um, I will get you that while you make your speech. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I did some slapstick over there. <laughs> um, wow. I'm, a, I'm humbled, to be honest. Um, thank you, John, to Beesden for firstly selecting the film. I, uh, it's an honor to be here and to be able to show it. Um, I, really, it's down to the cast and crew. Uh, these three people are the reason why this film is here, um, including my wife, who's the lady there. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't be here without her, so... Um, yeah, I feel very blessed. Really, it's 
you know, it's 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 a it's a full team to make these films. Um, and you know, yes, I'm the writer director, by the way, Mike. Um, and it's these sorts of people believing in what you want to do, which uh, I'm incredibly thankful for, and a crew that slave away to make it happen. So. And then finding an audience. So thank you for everyone who comes to see these films. That honestly means a lot. So thank you so much. I have to say, no pressure or anything, but this side is just like gagging for some attention over here. Oh, oh where are you going? He looks like you're swaying away. And you get the camera in it. You get to look special and everything. In fact, everyone on Instagram right now is like waving. <laughs> Woo, look at that crowd. Gina, you're not in it. Again? <laughs> I'll tell you when your moment is, okay? Congratulations, amazing. Brilliant. I love it. Sorry about the. Uh... Anyway. Um, next up, we have um, our performance category. And uh, I do love the amazing performers that we bring here to this festival every single year. I say we like I'm taking credit for it, I'm not. <laughs> the, the amazing performers that John and his amazing team bring here every year um, through uh, films and also their, just, their prestige. So, um, oh, popcorn. Right, did anyone see that? That was brilliant. That should have been in the comedy moment. That was like... <laughs> so, right, yes, you all have a button that reclines your chair because that is the kind of cinema we are in, folks. Um, so you test it out now, but, you know, learn from these mistakes. Push your popcorn out the way before your legs go, woo! Um, but it's okay. I like floor popcorn, so I'll be there later. Um, so uh, next up, uh, the Performance Award. Um, as I was saying, um, the, uh, so I, I have a bit of a hero who is featured in one of the films in this festival this year, which is um, Vicky McClure, who you might have heard her voice in Good Grief. Now, Vicky actually attended the festival in the second year, which was 2015. Yeah. And, um, and is now featured today. And um, I just wanted to highlight that as a moment, because, I mean, for me, that is very cool. I don't know about you guys, yeah, yeah. right? Um, yeah, we can applaud that. <laughs> but, I mean, Vicky is not the only incredible performer that has come to this festival and that has featured in this, the films at this festival. Um, there are so many, not only locally, and there is amazing local talent that is featured here. And, again, a massive thank you to John and his team for really highlighting the local talent. Um, of which I am um, not very good. But um, we, we also are introduced to talent from all over the world. And um, we are so incredibly lucky to uh, have that. So uh, right on our doorsteps for a lot of us as well. So uh, yes, for the next category, it's very exciting. It's the performance category. And we are having um, Orla Hackman, our amazing student intern that we mentioned earlier, coming up. There you are. So, to Announce this one. So hello again. So the nominations for this one are Familiar, Milk, River Take Me, and Women of Virtue. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll bring it in. I didn't, I didn't get angry. That's, how, that's your little luxury, Amelia. You're the one who gets to get angry. You're the I one know, with tantrums. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know! No! You want to say that? Exactly. T'es vraiment une gamine. C'est même pas ça. Bah, prends, c'est pas prendre comme ça. Prendre, c'est... Voilà, quoi. Quel bébé. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, 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 the winner is Women of Bachi. Who were unable to make it tonight? That we have a um. Hello, my name is Lubenet and I'm Ethel in the Women of Virtue. Um, I'm living in Paris so I can't be with you tonight, but I'm making a little video today to say thank you to the Bistone Film Festival. I'm so honored and happy to have won a Boscor. Um, sorry for my English, he isn't really good. Uh, I'm still learning English as you can see. Um, so yes, um, thank you again. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations again to everybody who's winning awards. I mean, if you are at home and um, you've just been a winner tonight and you've tuned into our live stream, um, I just want to say a massive congratulations to you and so does everyone here in the room. Yay! Okay, the next category is the best of the East Midlands focus category. Woo! I'm all right. Um, this is very, very exciting, um, and like we have such incredible local talent that uh, I just absolutely love to celebrate. And I say this as if I still live in the East Midlands. Um, unfortunately, I, I unfortunately I really I don't. I live in the West Midlands now. Uh, I know. I know. And do you know what? That is the reaction I was looking for because. Um, right. Actually, you know the whole thing where I was like, oh, I didn't introduce myself. Who am I? Well, that's. Um, I run a thing called Nexus Cast and Crew Network, right? And if you really want to get out your hatred for the other half of the Midlands, which seems to be the case, um, we are running the East versus West Midlands Showcase on the 6th of May, um, Coronation Day. So um, you can let it all out, if you like. But... I do, I, I love East Midlands, and this is where I, um, you know, this is where I started, um, Derby and Nottingham uh, particularly, um, so I'm very, very excited to announce this, well, I'm sorry, I'm not announcing it, I'm very excited to announce the announcer for this category, um, which is our very own commercial director of the festival, who's been involved in Beeson Film Festival since 2015, um, and I'd like to invite Simon Price up. <laughs> There you are. Oh, oh it's, you've been heckling me this whole time. Right. Well, off you go. Thank you very much. I'm going to use the hands free version. Oh, well, it's my we, height, so. We need to, <laughs> okay. Close to my heart and close to my home, um, this little range. Um, right, I'm going to call them out. The nominees are a last resort Atlas, 54 days. Full, full, half, half, and spooky bastard. Oh. <laughs> the oh, here they are. We are going home. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? My name's Olivier Leger. I'm a wildlife artist with a focus on life in our oceans. It's, it's for my dad, actually. It's like one day for each year of his life. It's a horror film this time. I heard a loud noise outside. I dropped my keys and I'm fairly sure there is a cloaked figure in the garden. He just kind of stood there. And the winner is 54 Days. Pat White. And Phoebe. Phoebe Torrance. They already have no excuse, but they are not here tonight. <laughs> No, I'm half joking. I don't know what the reason is, but oh wait, we're we're, we're walking to the stage. There is someone here tonight. Oh, sorry, I was right at the back. Oh my goodness, I had it wrong. Thank. I was gonna say. 
I was about to. What a very long walk from where? From the back. <laughs> 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 I will let you take the floor. Oh, thank you. Oh, this isn't working. Sorry. I'm going to be really quick because I actually have to run and catch a train because I've got to get back to Stratford upon Avon because I'm working. Um, I'm from the East Midlands, but I'm working in the West, so I'm a bit in between. But um, thank you so much. This is a really big and special honour. Um, 54 Days is a film about hope um, that I wrote after losing two people I loved and starting swimming as a means of trying to figure out how to deal with grief so um I, i'm really grateful to john who i've got the pleasure of getting to know over these past days weeks and i think you've done an amazing job and everyone i've met in this festival is so inspiring and i'm just very uh honored and thankful to be collecting this award thank you to everyone here and thank you so much <laughs> Jump in, love it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the one. Everyone pose. Whee! We're going for more. Pose. Whee! Amazing. Congratulations. So glad you're here. Um, amazing. So, next up is our best directing category. Um, so, um, for this one, I'd like to introduce to the stage not only a jury member, but also the festival's social media manager. Um, <laughs> did I just hear a giggle? There's no one to tell you. Wait a minute. You've not been prepped? You've not been briefed? Well, it's not only you, like, you know, Alona did a great job and Chris was fantastic. So, um, please, can we have a massive round of applause for Francesca Reef. Levy. I mean, you look petrified. I don't like public speaking. I'm so sorry. It was not my idea. Blame me, So the um, winner of, um, or the selection, sorry, of uh, Best Direction is um, Women of Virtue, um, Hello Muscles, Blue Rain, Familiar, Laps and Unders. So uh, play the um, selection, please. I'm not big or strong. Okay, big's debatable. But strong. I think that's nothing to do with muscles, right? I'd miss you, sir. Is Women of Virtue from Stephanie Halpern. Congratulations. We were unable to make it tonight, so have filmed another. Yeah, another. <laughs> it's 
Gentlemen. We just just shuffle. <laughs> right. Lunge back. Oh, go on. Lunge. Okay. This is great. Hello. Uh, I have just come to know that we have won a B Oscar, do you say it like this, uh, for Best Direction. It's very moving for me. Uh, it's, um, I think, my first award for direction. Um, and it's uh, very important for me because I haven't um, studied on how to become a director. And I've just uh, learned by watching other do and by doing myself. So I can have a very low self-esteem <laughs> about myself on that. And receiving this award um, is a very strong sign for me and a very big um, encouragement. Uh, I would have loved to be with you, but uh, I'm on a writing residency this week uh, in order to be able to furnish other films, I hope in the next years. Uh, thank you so very much uh, to uh, the programmers for programming my film and to the jury for deciding to, to give me this wonderful award. Uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful festival and uh, maybe see you next year. Who knows? <laughs> Bye. Amazing. Um, brilliant. So, uh, we have our, our next category is the women's uh, voices category. Um, I know this, you've had this category for quite a long time, haven't you? So, yeah. Yep, yeah. <laughs> um, because uh, I remember I've kind of like, with these categories every single year, the women's voices category, the audience walks out and oh my God, the passionate discussion, debate, like the, everything that comes out of that room every year is amazing. Somehow, th th this category is just like mind-blowingly kind of brilliant at so the storytelling and opening our minds up and challenging us about uh, with the world around us. Um, so uh, yeah, I don't think this year has been any different. I actually have a memory of coming out of um, one of these screenings and uh, a particular filmmaker who was incredible, like the film was brilliant. Uh, we had quite a heated debate afterwards, not in like a bad way, just in like a, that's an issue that we haven't discussed a lot. And um, yeah, um, it was it was one of my best, like most interesting festival experiences ever. And it's a conversation that stuck with me for a really long time. Um, uh, Gino, like, please, no names. <laughs> we were being really discreet here. <laughs> All right. Um, I was going to say, um, like, it was great until obviously... Um, I, I entered a film set um, like a year later and, um, well, the film set was a house that belonged to that filmmaker and that debate continued and just kept going. And um, so you, you've stayed with me with these, this, this category. Um, it's very, very exciting and I'm excited to see who's going to win this one today. Um, so um, I'd like to invite back up here our festival uh, manager, Nina Fev to introduce this one. Is that your phone? Yep. This is my phone. Oh, we have a new phone. <laughs> Whose is this one? Good, thank you. And the nominees are Hello Muscles, My Eyes Are Up Here, Bona Vacancia, Alicia Armstrong Lorraine, and Bufflehead. Does he have to stay here every night? I need him, you know that. But do you like... love him? Love. Yeah, you don't have to worry, I'm, I'm clean. I'm clean, so... <laughs> I cannot get pregnant. Oh, result. Do you want to get a coffee? What? 
But then you can't get pregnant because. Oh you're... my god! I'm disabled. I'm not barren. <laughs> Instant death caused by upper cervical spine fracture. Body found two days later. We have limited resources and we can't treat just anybody if once they've recovered they're not going to contribute to society. Y luego vino Alicia con el lecho nupcial. Sabiendo esto, intenté averiguar todo sobre la película de Alicia. And the winner is the winners. Actually, there are two winners. Uh, Hello Muscles from Marley Baxter. And My Eyes Are Up Here from Nathan Morris. This has never happened before, okay? We, we, we went through the results over and over again. We've never done a joint award. It is, it's only happened because they are both completely awesome films. And so we, we, after much debate and much struggle, we said, we're going to do a joint award. So well done, guys. Girls, even. Hi. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Beeston Film Festival. Thank you. It's a fantastic festival. It's been such a pleasure to be a part of it. Um, I, I should say thank you uh, to uh, the writer of the film, Matthew Hutt, and also to my producers, uh, Alex and Rory. Um, uh, yeah, uh, thanks so much for having us. It's a real, a real honour. Um, we we sent we we're very grateful. Thank you very much. We did send. Um, we have a video to play from our oh, lead yeah. actress. Hopefully, great. Well, let's see what happens if we press play. <laughs> Thank you so 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 much for awarding us Women's Voice Award. It is such. A beautiful thing to be able to work with a team that understands that voices like this need to be heard, especially this story where it's about a woman uh, who has a disability and is of color and the things and the tribulations that she goes through um, in the aspect of her life and in this story being her love life and also dealing that dealing with that and um, what it means to try to live as free of a life as possible without ableist mindsets, but knowing that unfortunately there's a lot of work to be done. And I feel that with this film, we definitely portrayed that in a way where people who may not understand the life that we live can sympathize and have empathy on how they're also part of this, you know, misconception, but also how they can be a part of the change. Um, and I am so thankful that I was able to portray um, this message and bring this character to life and that you all really loved it as much as you did because you won the award. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I speak on the behalf of everyone who was a part of it, crew and production, director, everyone, um, writer, creator, that we are so, so thankful for your appreciation of the film. And yeah. Yay. Thank you. Did you want to add anything? No. <laughs> okay. Would you like to select your part of the audience? 
Because the awkward is getting more and more awkward, isn't it? But would you, yes, would you like to have a picture with your presenters? So we've got um, uh, Nina there and Olga as well. Oh, sorry, Orla. My bad. Yeah, jump in. Together. Pretend you're receiving it for the very first time. And then there is this person who's a voting member, which kind of explains the kind of trajectory of your career. Um, and has also been awarded an MBE. I'm joking, by the way, it's, it's an honor either way. Uh, but has been awarded an MBE from the uh, 2020 honors list of New Year's Eve, uh, honors list? New Year's honors list. Um, so I'm so sorry, I'm really like, you're brilliant and I'm getting nervous. What can I say? <laughs> um, like, I'm blushing. Uh, but no, um, so uh, yeah, I would really like to invite to stage um, Emmanuel uh, Anyam Osikwe for this one. Uh, this is the best in festival award. And uh, please, a massive congratulations. Oh, sorry, massive. Uh, look, I'm getting all flustered. A massive uh, applause. Right. It's nice to see you, to see you. Lovely. <laughs> Don't feel old anymore. Um, <laughs> thank you for the introduction, Emily. And um, before we go any further, actually, I was just doing some research. Um, I just want everyone in the audience to realise how important it is that you're all here this evening. So on Film Freeway, there were 12,000 film festivals on there. On the BIFA qualifying list, of which Beeston Film Festival is on that list, there were only 53 film festivals that have BIFA accreditation. Beeston is one of those 53. <laughs> so it's very important when I'm putting these numbers that People like John, people like myself, people that run film festivals, we give a damn about filmmakers. There's a lot of people in this industry that don't give a damn about filmmakers. So it's very important that you've showed out this weekend, tonight, to support the filmmakers. Because as Emily said earlier, without the filmmakers, we don't have an industry. So for every filmmaker in this audience, for every person that watches films, Give yourselves a big round of applause. And also, allow me to indulge in um, commending John, because not every film festival gets to 10 years. And the British Open Film Festival, which I founded 18 years ago, is still going strong. And I'm sure John will get to 18 years if he wants to. John, do you still want to? <laughs> Audience, do you want him to carry on? <laughs> There's your answer. Right, so it's time for the main event of the evening. I'm going to read out the nominees before we read the clips. So, the nominees for Best in Festival. A round of applause for each film. School. <laughs> Pirouette. Forfeit. <laughs> Woman of Virtue. <laughs> Hello Muscles. <laughs> Empress Clawstream. <laughs> My eyes are up here. <laughs> Mergen. And finally, a last resort. <laughs> and I've been reliably informed that the winner of tonight's award is in the audience. So it's going to be a big deal, okay? Right, before we get to that point, I'll go and collect that lovely little trophy over there. And whilst I do that, watch the clips. Okay. 
Andrews. Andy Andrews. <laughs> Anaphylactic. Time. <laughs> Just tell her, Jess, you're an absolute roid. Will you go out with me? What's the worst that can happen? She could... I'm clean, so... <laughs> I cannot get pregnant. Oh, result. Do you want to get a coffee? What? Well, then you can't get pregnant because... Oh, um... my God. I'm disabled. I'm not barren. It was your nana's poop that killed your granddad, you know. Granddad died of an heart attack. No, nope. it was the poop that killed him, really. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2023 Bosca for Best in Festival. <laughs> Nathan Morris, my eyes are up here. <laughs> big clap, everyone, big clap. This is a big deal. <laughs> keep clapping, keep clapping. Okay, guys, the stage is yours. Speech time. Thank you so much for awarding us with Best of the Festival. It's incredible to know that our short film has reached many hearts and minds and that you have felt the impact of merging real stories and real lived experiences into films, removing negative narratives, imagery, and assumptions with authentic voices. Many disabled black and brown people are forced into the role of activist in order to survive. I first felt this way as a child, born in the latter half of the 80s and growing up in the 90s before the Discrimination Act, being told I couldn't be an actress, couldn't be a dancer, couldn't be an artist, or any other interests that I had. After this, I became more aware that I never saw a South Asian or black disabled woman on TV, let alone wishing for representation of visible body differences. We all, we all deserve to feel represented. And whilst very recently there has been some on-screen white disabled talent, we are yet to see any black and brown visibly disabled talent. Disabled actors, talent, artists and creators like myself cannot inspire the next generation of disabled and non-disabled children and young adults to follow a career in this industry if we are continuously excluded from playing all roles, specifically disabled-led roles. My eyes are up here, pushes back at this and places intersectional and visibly diverse identities, specifically the beautiful Gillian Mercado, in the lead role on, on screen as a fierce protagonist and vitally as a sexual being, in a universal experience we either relate to or can empathise with. The issues and discrimination that disabled people face are often swept under the rug and shut behind doors of private spaces. So this short is incredibly important to us as it hones my lived experience from a day in my life at 19 years old. It highlights the obstacles that people like myself face, not only daily, but sometimes within a short duration, such as an afternoon. And it visually represents a beautiful disabled woman of color on screen in a universal role, something I've longed to see for over three decades. This is a small and a way to step towards disabled black and brown creators being represented in their creations on screen. Thank you so much to the entire team, director Nathan Morris, co-writer Arthur Meek, producers Casey Dolan, Vanessa Murr, Naomi Woolwork, and exec executive producers 104 Films, our funders BFI, BBC and Film London, 
for helping us bring this short to fruition. And of course, thank you so much to Beeston Film Festival, to the audience for the selection panel for this incredible award. The short is currently circulating festivals and will be online to watch soon. We really hope you've enjoyed it. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the winner of the 2023 Best of the Festival. My eyes are up here, Nathan Morris. Give it up. So, um, Elena, if anyone's up there with you in the back, I hope you all managed to get in. Um, all right, so I'd just like to say a massive thanks again. You want to, you, do you want to, you, yeah, uh, yeah. No, how dare you? How rude. It's me. No, I'm joking. Um, just, I will pass over to John. So a massive thank you to every single person that's been involved in the festival. And before John thanks everybody, I'd like to just give a massive round of applause for John because he probably won't do that for himself. So first, first thank you. I want to thank Emily Riley. Emily and Kelly. Holly, Kelly. What it? Holly, Emily and Harley. Uh, what a star. I mean, I've known Emily an awful long time, and she's a very talented, charismatic person. Um, but I say that at Julie's last, but there you go. Um, we finish up. What a wonderful night. What a wonderful festival. Thank you all for coming. Next year, 10th year, we have so many great plans. Two weeks. Um, and and th there are some wonderful, talented filmmakers in here tonight who have not won a Bosca, you know you've made great work. Yeah, okay? You know you've made great work. So one, for those who didn't win a Bosca in the room, every, one last applause for them, please. And I had a little argument last night about someone, do we go off to our festival club after this tonight? And I said, no, it has to end at some point. So I am now formally bringing the festival to an end. Many thanks. Thank you very much. See you next year. Take care.